Okay, well, something just happened in the Trio Boys pen that frightened me. Um, Clyde and Marmalade were both, like, they had surrounded Puddles. Puddles was on his pillow, and he just looked so scared. Like, they were both going to take him. And um, I did what Saskia does, and I blew on him, and, you know, they ran away. And then I took Clyde back out, and I've just given him some CBD. Yes, well, I think, no, you're not going to go live with them. You're not going to terrorize Puddles. And, and I know it's, it's not Clyde's fault. I know that, so... Just so I... <laughs> you don't have to worry. I know it's not his fault. It's the epilepsy. I know. It affects his brain, and he doesn't mean it. Just like, you know, what I have makes me say nasty things to my husband sometimes, and I, I feel terrible afterwards, and I don't mean it, but... At the moment, I guess I do, and it's it's a sickness, you know? So, yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. I love you. Clyde, I love you. I do. I know it's not your fault. Okay, I know it's not your fault, buddy. You can't help it. You can't help it. And, and Marmalade is, I can tell, kind of scared of him. So if Clyde is going to go after Puddles, Marmalade is going to go on Clyde's side because he's scared of Clyde. You got something on your eye, buddy? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, you do. Something. Ow! Okay. My, my bad. I'm sorry. My bad. I was trying to get that out of your eye, and you didn't like it. You had every right to nip me. And I know that you're a nipper, but I, I don't want Clyde to become totally antisocial. And I do take him out once in a while. I think that's good. I, you know, if I never took him out and I never handled him, I just don't think that's good for either of us. We have to keep our bond, and we do have it. And I don't blame him for nipping. I know he can't help it. But I also do not have to subject puddles to abuse. And that's why those of us who have depression and have anxiety and panic attacks and stuff like that. Some have bipolar. I mean, you need to take your medicine and that's just how it is. And I wish there was medicine for Clyde. Um, you know, I give him CBD. Honestly, I, I don't know what else I could do for him. If anyone has, has some hints, that I'd love them. Yeah. I know. I, oops, I'm sorry. I know, Clyde. I know. I know. You're right. You're right. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I know. I'm, I know. Okay. I'm going to put him back in his cage. I gave him a snuggle sack. He does hate those plastic piglos, but just a word about those piglos. Scotty's right. Um, he lives in a very hot climate, and I can see how those piglos would be awful. Okay, let's put Clyde on the... Here. There we go. There we go. I can see how those piglos would be awful and hot and, you know, humid. But if you live, oh, you know, in a climate-controlled house, like we do, and especially in Wisconsin where it's not so, you know, the climate's different too. I think piglos can be a comfort for a piggy. Yeah, it just, it just really depends on a lot of things. Although I, you know, I, I like those piggy corner houses and I like those snuggle sacks better. But I think piglos can have their place, too. As long as you keep them clean. Yeah, and take your piggy out enough. I think it's okay. You just have to be responsible. Yeah, okay, like me. Let's take you back to your cage, okay? Clyde?
Clyde. Clyde, where's Jesus? Clyde. Clyde, where's Jesus? Where's Jesus? Clyde. Where's, where's Jesus? Come on, honey, tell me. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him.